Sandra and, mm -hmm. and her husband a couple years before when this house was a new build. So we, we had made some choices about the aesthetic and stuff, but as, you know, things happen, the space started to kind of dictate a different feel. So when I first came to see Sandra's space, this room, the cocktail room, was actually used as a home office for her husband. Mm -hmm. It was painted kind of a chocolatey brown. Yep. It didn't have any kind of functionality, and no offense, but it didn't look good at all, yeah, right? No. And then the dining room was green. The configuration was a bit off. It didn't gel, it didn't feel right, and it didn't feel like a space that you actually wanted to hang out in. I am a, a mother of with three boys, <laughs> so <laughs> I felt that my husband and I needed a space for ourselves mm -hmm. because the rest of the house is for them. The understanding would be that it is the entertaining rooms yeah. of the house. So it's cocktails, it's dinner, Absolutely. it's a place to hang out. When I was designing these rooms, I actually designed them together. So I didn't mm -hmm. actually just yeah. start with one room. I really wanted to have a clear vision of how they were going to relate to each other. So the balance of these two spaces happened with the navy blue, and that was a bold choice. It's very mm -hmm. sophisticated. I wanted mm -hmm. it to read as a great nighttime room. It gave that cohesion, but it also, you know, when you go into the dining room, we lighten it up completely. So we actually have a little bit of glimmer in the wallpaper, so it feels the same, but then you're, you're really having two different looks. When I'm designing spaces, I love to do the unexpected. And in this case, um, I really wanted to treat the ceiling as the fifth wall. I thought it was a really important part of the design of the space. It was a point where we had to stop mm -hmm. as Sandra contemplated whether it should go dark. What was the worry with going dark on the ceiling? That it would close the space. Mm -hmm. It would make it look sort of cavernous and just mm -hmm. not cozy mm -hmm. enough for mm -hmm. yeah, what I was looking for. But I was, you know, happily surprised. And it actually heightened yeah. the height of our ceilings and it gave more drama to the room. Yeah. Then okay. the orange drapes were the other thing that I think was a point where you're like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. But I knew that I wanted a lot of texture and I wanted some tension in the space. So because we went with the orange velvet drapes, it added that balance to the space. Again, it was fun and unexpected, and the velvet adds this great texture, right? And glam. And glam, right? right? So the velvet glam. Yeah, and then we also have the original fireplace that was in the space mm -hmm. has a lighter stone on it. So I wanted mm -hmm. to balance that in the dining room, and we did that with the wallpaper. Yeah. We kept the dining room table and the buffet. They were pieces that we had from our previous space and they just had some sentimental values. And I mean, they just really fit the space really well. And the mirror actually was a piece that we had from before, but Trish decided to uh, mount the piece on the wall, which really made a statement, mm -hmm. so that and was... And we changed the direction of it, right? It used to be... It was horizontal, horizontal and now and it's vertical, so that was a real wow factor mm -hmm. there. So, really opens yeah. up the space there. Absolutely. Yeah. And we just added in like the chairs, which were a more modern element. It was a good cost saver yeah. for the budget to be yeah. able to reuse what they already owned. When we were looking for art for this space, it was actually one of the hardest things to find, right? Mm -hmm. I finally found this artist, her name is Angela Cameron. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. She did custom sized prints for us. We had them custom framed and then we went big. We went all the way from the floor to the ceiling, mm -hmm. which really gave us that height and that wow factor in the room. What I like in particular about this lighting, it really looks like the balls are floating in the air, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Yeah, they're beautiful. So yeah, it's, it's the bocce balls and they're amazing. And again, so contemporary that it just gave us that great tension in the room. Yeah. This room, the cocktail room, which I like mm -hmm. to call it, uh, we really wanted to get you know, a great couch. And yes. Sandra's got a great eye, and she had some favorite stores <laughs> that I went and sourced at. And when I found this couch, I just about lost it. Because yeah. to me, it's an art piece, and it was the perfect color for the room, and it really set the tone for everything else that could go in the room. We just love it. <laughs> yeah. Then we wanted to lighten it up, and how we did that was using this gorgeous shag rag. As soon as you put something light, everything is gonna bounce off of it and mm -hmm. pop off of it. It feels light and airy and super mm -hmm. cool. I love the chairs. Mm -hmm. These chairs are pretty cool. Would never have chosen them if it hadn't been for Trish. <laughs> The thing I love about this fixture is when you're looking for that little bit of sparkle and a little bit of glam, but you don't want to go too traditional, it gives you all of that and it's gorgeous. Yes. 
but you still maintain that kind of transitional, contemporary look in the room. I think for me, the thing that made this project so successful was, you know, Sandra came to me with her vision, but she was so open to what I, mm -hmm. you know, came up with totally. and what I wanted to bring to the space. Trish has a really good sense of design. She knows my sense of style mm -hmm. and what I was looking for, and we just had a really good collaboration. We did.